Thanks for joining us at the AI for Good Global Summit 2019. I am joined by Ben Coombs. He's Assistant Director, Innovation and Sustainability at PwC UK. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the invitation. And Ben, your area of expertise is the environment. So there's a real sense of urgency at the moment that something needs to be done quickly. How can AI help? Well, we've got a number of serious Earth challenges that require urgent attention. We've got non-linear problems and we're probably going to need non-linear solutions to solve them. And that's where AI can really play an important role and accelerate those solutions. And we've been working with companies across the world, from public to private sector, international organizations, big tech firms, thinking about how can we use AI for those environmental challenges from biodiversity to climate change to oceans. And what we found is that there are over 150 use cases already out there in the market of people using AI for the environment across environmental challenges. And we find that really encouraging, but obviously we need to do more because the scale of these challenges, if we look at trying to get to 1.5 degrees Celsius, it's going to be very, very challenging unless we really accelerate uh, the solution set. So when you talk to businesses, how do you encourage them to consider AI to solve uh, various challenges? Does it make commercial and business sense to do so? So we've been doing, there's a lot of work out there about sort of the economic case for doing action on, on, on AI and you know there are more and more studies on that and there are also studies on climate impacts and why we should make action on the climate and what we're trying to do now is bring those two together. So we've recently published a report um, how AI can enable a sustainable future with Microsoft and PwC UK, looking at how AI in four sectors, agriculture, energy, water and transport, can really transform those sectors, looking at some key levers as a preliminary study and showing how both the, using AI in those sectors can really unlock economic value of $5 trillion by 2030, increase GDP by 4% and reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 4% which is the equivalent of Australia, Canada and Japan combined in terms of those emissions. So this is a very preliminary study. We're not saying this is the final answer, but we really think there is an economic case there, a business case to decouple emissions from economic growth and really give us solutions that can turbocharge what we need to do to start to deliver on those commitments that all the countries have made. That's a very important point, isn't it? Because at the moment we get this sense that people don't really know how or where to start, but we know that it's important to deploy AI to help solve uh, great challenges. So what's the solution? What's the right approach to do it? So I think there are a number of things that need to be done here. I think this is great that we've got the AI for Good Summit bringing together technologists, um, people from international organization, academics, practitioners, and all coming together to try and solve these problems. Because traditionally we've had environmental people working within their domains, technologists working within their do domains, but these are such big uh, global problems that we really need to work together to solve these problems together. And I think that we re as we see that, we will start to see bigger changes happening. We've already seen great advances in healthcare, in finance using AI, and now's the time to really extend the portfolio of what people are looking at for people and the planet. And I think that also extends to the responsible AI platforms and, and toolkits that people are building. We need to remember the planet as well as people. And we know that there are some crucial issues around using AI, but we would ask for those to be extended to include planetary issues, energy use, how the impact of AI, the impact it's having on biodiversity and conservation and climate change. And it may well be that we can have a positive outcome if we embed AI into the design phase of these solutions, which we think is really, really crucial. And it's something that we're out here this week talking about and really hoping that people will get on board with. Ben, thank you very much. Thank you. Ben Coombs of PwC UK.